from in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likey. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likey Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for joining in. Thanks for being part of our program. We are together again on the radio. Time once again for another edition of, uh, well, the Tom Likey Show talks to the haters. That's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to talk to the haters this hour. Uh, we do this on an irregular basis. We don't do it at any scheduled time. We... Uh, we pick a time when it sounds like uh, people are getting really pissed, and then we go for it. It's simple as that. Now, when we do this show, we ask people to call in at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. We ask that you not call in unless you really do hate me, hate the show, hate the concept, hate the opinions we espouse. I mean, you have to actually hate it. If you mildly dislike it or occasionally disagree. This is not the show for you to call. You can sit back and listen. You can pop open a cold brew and enjoy the show, but you have to be an absolute hater to get on the air. Now, if you know somebody who hates the show, and they um, they hate it so much they don't listen anymore, you might, might want to inform them that we're doing the show now. And that they can call 1-800-5800-TOM right now and get on the air and tell me all the reasons why they so passionately dislike me. 1-800-5800-866. Now, it's a good hour for the haters because uh, we are the only radio program in America, probably the world, I would guess. Having traveled to many foreign countries to listen to the radio, I would guess it's a safe bet. We're the only radio show probably in the world where we talk to our detractors. We spend an hour just talking to haters. Seriously speaking. I mean, um, the, the result of that, of course, is because we tell the the fans of the show and the sycophants, people who like to tickle all over me, because we tell them to sit back and relax, it frees up phone lines for the true haters to get right through on the phone. And if you're one of those people who hates me, hates the show, hates the concept, hates the opinions expressed, and you've tried to get in and it's been busy, trust me when I tell you, Dean J. D'Amelio, our screener, spends the better part of this hour and does his level best to hang up on anybody who doesn't absolutely hate my guts. Dean thinks the phrase level best is funny. Well, everything's relative, Dean. But uh, that means if you are a real hater, uh, there, there will not be a busy signal. I can pretty much guarantee you a phone line if you call now at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Because Dean is just in there going, uh, no, Tom's talking to haters this hour. Thank you. No, Tom's talking to haters this hour. Thank you. No, Tom's talking to haters this hour. Thank you. Do you hate Tom? No, Tom's talking to haters this hour. Thank you. That's what he's doing. So all the people who love me will all call in, and Dean will hang up on them, and he will leave the phone lines open for the haters. Uh, so as much as you hate me, I promise if you hate me, you will get in if you dial now. I, I'm guaranteeing it. No doubt about it. He's doing it now. I, I, hear him, I can hear him down the hall thanking people for calling in. But uh, to give you an example of the level of hatred we are talking about here, just in case you have any doubt of what kind of caller we're looking for, it's time now to dip into the mailbag and read some of the most vile hate mail that we ever get. You look like a normal person. Actually, you are the angel of death. 
doesn't like you. I don't like you either. You are a psychopathic, schizophrenic, maladjusted social misfit. Every word you say just makes me want to punch you in the face. You are the worst human being I have ever met. Tell me something I don't know! I watch you eat when I see you asleep when I look at you lately I just want to smash your face in I hate you I hate your guts you've got mail no! take your sticky paws off me you damn dirty ape a listener who is unsigned writes in and says I wish someone would blow you up. Not that I could do that. But sure hope karma gets you real soon. You are a sick, vile piece of crap. Your sneering little sarcastic BS talk about how men could give their girlfriends or wives miscarriages is sick, sick, sick. You've really outdone yourself in your evilness. You've hit a new low. I rarely listen to you. Sure you do. You just happen to be on when I turn my radio back on when I leave work. And I quickly change channels. I kept it on for a few minutes to make sure I was hearing you correctly. Oh, I see. That explains it. He says, yes. You really have outdone your own sickness. And so predictable. Well, wait a minute. If I'd outdone my own sickness, then I would imagine it would at least be unpredictable because I'd gone so far, right? Mm -hmm. He says, you really have outdone your own sickness. You think you're so smart, but you just happen to have an incredibly stupid audience that makes you look smart. I really wish you didn't have the kind of low self-esteem, sir. Your Jerry Springer crowds actually believed, quote, you're just giving the information, just giving a public service message. Yeah, right. Your atheism won't matter a bit when you leave this material world. You will be in a world of hurt that you so deeply deserve. I usually pray for people's souls even Saddam Hussein. But I will never pray for you. I'm worse than Saddam Hussein. Wow. My small prayers wouldn't help you much anyway. You deserve to experience fully all the results of your actions. You can laugh and pretend you're not responsible for what you say, do, and cause. But my, quote, friend... I'm doing the quotes in the quotation marks. You are very responsible for a lot of darkness and evil in society. God gave you a form. I thought it was a bunch of Jewish guys who gave me this form. Don't they say the Jews control the media? All I know is my check comes from New York every two weeks. God gave you a forum and a chance to do good, and you used your free will to do evil instead. So good luck with that. You are pure scum. That one is unsigned. Here's another one. The subject line says, pathetic. It's from Seamus. I rarely, if ever, email someone in the radio industry because it's an industry desperate for advertisers and listeners. So Shock Radio is the current name of the game. I flew in from Chicago and picked up my rental car and was flipping through the stations when I came across your show. I caught a segment of the show where the discussion was how you thought these teenagers, males in particular, who plan on going to the prom are basically stupid. And they shouldn't pay for a thing if their goal was to get laid. You said that if they had any game, they wouldn't have to pay a thing and they would get laid. It's true. All of your callers said they love your show and they've been listening for a long time. Dude, here's a guy from Chicago. Dude, you sound like you're 40 some odd years old and your audience is a bunch of teenagers? 
Let me guess. Since you're on radio, people probably suck up to you. You're likely ugly. No way in hell someone of intelligence will marry you. You'll say you don't want to be married. So you're lonely. Your security zone is on air. So you're free to say what you want because people don't know who you are in public. Frankly, you're pathetic. Thanks for repeating your email address on air. I couldn't understand what you slurred the first time you said it. That's from Seamus. Thank you, Seamus. Very nice. Here is a name I can't even pronounce. Is that Maeve? M-A-E-V-E. Mev? I don't know. Tom, you are a miserable, miserable piece of work. Your daily mantra consists of persuading other losers to crap before being crapped upon. And Maeve didn't say crap or crapped, said the S word. You said yourself that you have lost faith in having a relationship with a woman because they're either gold diggers or sluts. And sometimes both. <laughs> I added that. Well, the women who orbit your planet are, have been, will be sluts because they've met you. That's the kind of women you attract. You're not interested in hearing from the rest of us who are decent, with good relationships, mainly because it hurts too much for you to know you'll never have a relationship like that. Hey, you made your bed, now lie in it. You encourage callers with crap for brains and stories to match. Aren't you a four-time loser? What's wrong with you? Jealous, I would imagine. I dare say your upbringing must have twisted your psyche. What went on there? Hate your mommy? Go get yourself some therapy. Find out why you're such an unfortunate bastard with no redeeming qualities. And by the way, you probably buy your male friend's company, too. They probably hang around you because you've got money. You're pathetic! That's from Maeve. Here's another one. They just keep pouring in. Tom, you are such a bastard. Never in my life have I heard such a dumb radio show. You're why you are racist against women. Are women a race? I didn't know. The FCC should ban you. I can't believe they allow you to spread ridiculous chauvinistic mumbo-jumbo over the airwave. Is there only one airwave? I don't know. And the male listeners that call in, oh my God, G-A-W-D, they're just as dumb and ignorant as you. This is all caps, this part. They call up and praise you like you're Jim Jones or somebody. What a bunch of whack jobs. That's Jim Jones, the cult leader, not the rapper dude. And another, <laughs> and another thing, you think you're so clever when you refer to Portland as Portland, the uh, land of the other white meat. Ha, ha, ha. Your sense of humor sucks. I guessed, G-U-E-S-T, you're trying to be funny. But all you doing... All you doing is offending and stereotyping a whole city of people. I have relatives that live there, and they don't find your comments funny at all. Don't assume that everybody in Portland is a fat Oompa Loompa. Most of my family is from there and all in great shape, pal. And you're always bragging about how you live alone and don't have a woman living with you. Well, I can understand why. What gal wants to live with you? I don't know how you got a radio show in the first place. You are a, I can't say that word, it ends in off, a creep, a jackass, and an a-hole all rolled into one. You think you're so smart. Well, I got news for you, buddy. That's right, I got news. You're Y-O-U-R, you're not. Now it's all caps for the rest of the way here. You call yourself a professor? Ha! That's a laugh. Professor of what? Professor of Poon, dear. Your views on women is terrible. And a lot of gals don't like you or your misogynist radio show. 
You are so dumb, comma. Why would you alienate a whole race of women? They're a race. It seems to me that you would have bigger ratings if you would cater to women. More. That way you would have a larger female demo, and that would get you more advertising dollars, you idiot. Oh, this is a program director writing in here. I think I work for her. You better be glad that I don't know the address to your studio because me and my friends would be out there picketing your dumb show. Come on down. Please. Be sure to let the TV stations know you're coming. Come on down, pick it. It's all right. That is signed Megan. I, I think she turned the caps lock on key and just never turned it off. So you see what I'm talking about. This is the level of hatred I'm talking about here. Why are you screaming? Because I'm damn mad. All right. Now, if you are a real hater like these people who wrote in, you can call me right now. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You'll be glad to know when I did the DTB email I got from my girl said, and if I hear the name Tom Likas one more time, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking to the haters. If you're a hater, call me now. There's always a phone line open for a hater because uh, we hang up on everybody else. If you're a hater, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Christina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you today? You don't care. You're a hater. I am a definite hater of yours. I'm sorry to say. I don't think you're sorry. I think you're very happy about it. <laughs> Do I sound happy? You well, do. I think you're I pretty proud of it. I ask you a question. I seriously waited on hold for 20 minutes, and it's been bugging me. So can I ask you real quick? Now, this is what's called an ambush call. <laughs> uh, here's how this works, okay? Uh, okay. She uh, tries to sound very uh, cordial on the phone. Yes, she admits she's a hater, but tries to sound very cordial like a nice person. And then she will introduce the ambush by saying, I just want to ask you one question, and it's going to be something really hateful. Yeah, and, and she thinks it's right. really You're she thinks it's man. really clever to set it up this way. But I but don't think as, it's clever. I've heard women do it before. As you, but it was no clever the last time somebody did it. But now we know what you're going to do. Go ahead and ask your okay. hateful, disgusting question. You had said you paid for abortions before. Were they your kids you paid for, or just women you knew that got pregnant? No, they were. They were all people I believe I impregnated. Okay. So you tell your listeners, because I've dated many a men that are your listeners, yes. that they should not be unprotected during sex. And, you know, I understand they don't all listen, but why wouldn't you do the sex? Actually, uh, the last three of the four, I was using a condom. Uh-huh. And the first time I wasn't, and I was much younger, uh, the last three times I was using a condom, but for whatever reason, it slipped, it leaked, it cracked, it did whatever it did. Okay, and instantly she just gets pregnant, like one time. Well, that's how it works. Oh, you must be very, very powerful. <laughs> you don't have to be very, very powerful. Condoms are a very imperfect uh, method. Uh, oh, I understand that. So and and this is what? You'd have to be with somebody for a good couple times before she's just going to instantly get pregnant. It only I mean, takes it female. only takes one time. What do you think? It's a cumulative thing? Well, no. Do you have sex with somebody a hundred times? They, they're getting more and more pregnant closer and closer to getting pregnant high sperm count because that's not you don't need a high time. sperm count it takes one time to get pregnant that's all it takes one i know i have a child at right and you made probably the same mistake these other women made except i got the girls to have abortions and the guy who knocked you up didn't no i have had an abortion i'm not a Abortion. I've I've done it myself. I believe that that is a woman's choice. I chose to have the child I have, and I can take care of the child I have. Oh, good for and you. I chose not to stay with the man that I had the child with either. I don't. That's fine. Exactly. So I mean, it's not a difficult situation. But I think what you preach to people, Tom. I've been listening to you for a very, very long time, 
And what I'm are you complaining to about? If, if a man offers to pay for your abortion, you should be pleased. I don't know why you would have a problem with that. I have a problem, Tom, with the way you're a very smart man. I'll give you that. Mm, I mean, that's, that's very white of you. Thank you. You're a very, very smart man. And, yeah. and you do people so wrapped. I'm buying into it right now. You know, I'm buying into You're buying your, into what? Into the game that you play in order to get listeners and, you know, keep your six figure income rolling. By the way, it's a seven so, figure income. And oh, it went to darling, seven. don't kid yourself. Don't well. kid yourself. Everybody, everybody who does a radio show is trying to get listeners. There's That's nobody cool. on the radio who says, you know what? One thing we don't need here listeners. Well, you do it in a very, very cunning way. You're very good. Because I'm a cunning linguist and a master debater. Around your finger. It takes women years to do that. Well, and after listening to your show one, you got a rap. And that really annoys you, doesn't it? That's, you're so manipulative. It does mm. annoy you, Tom. It's very annoying. So you, you wish you, you were the queen of manipulation, but it turns out there's somebody better at it than you are. Uh, you know, you are pretty good, and I'll give you that. I have manipulated. I'm not going to be one of those women that I... Done like when you told that guy, the doctor says I can't. Like when you told that guy, the doctor says I can't get pregnant. Remember when you said that and he believed you? I did not ever. Speaking of manipulation, huh? like, uh, speaking of manipulation, oh, you have, you have to have sex with me a couple of hundred times before I can get pregnant. I've never told a man that, but I know that Tom, if you four times you. Paid for an abortion. That's a little extreme. To I'll do it again. One. If I need to, I'll yes, do it again. If I need to, yes, I can. And if I need to, I will. <laughs> if I need to do I mean, it again, I will. I understand. I just think that maybe you're not being that truthful about the fact that you protect yourself. Why would you say that? Because it four times, Tom, and four reality, times. Four understand, times. dear, that is over a course of 38 years of having sex. It's entirely possible. And you do have a lot of sex. <laughs> yes, I do. So it is entirely possible, is it not? Well, it, okay, I see. Okay, I'll give you that, too. Oh, it's very wide of you also. You probably have. Oh, <laughs> and <laughs> see, you're making me so frustrated, I can't gather my thoughts. Look at you, hamana, hamana, hamana. <laughs> All right, Tom, well, I'm about to pull up to my son, so I don't like him listening to this, and I don't want him to know that I participate. Oh, I hope your son does hear this, because I hope your son doesn't make the same mistake that the guy who knocked you up made. He didn't make a mistake. He has no financial obligation to this child, and I'm the point. that way. He... I don't want him here. Yeah, well, guess what? He didn't want to be a father in the first place. Oh, he does. He still calls to see his son, and I don't believe that he should. If you can't be a constant, then you shouldn't be there at all. Oh, well, he listens to your show all the time. Well, then he should know that if he hired an attorney, he has a right to see his son, and an attorney could get him what he wants. He tried to get an attorney, and he tried to get his son, but it's, he has What do you mean he tried, to, he tried to get an attorney? How hard is that? How hard is he it to get a yellow pick? Well, if he has That's the money, you get an attorney. not mine. <laughs> well, I, no, no, but whose fault is it that you had sex with a loser? See, he wasn't a loser when I. Oh met him. yes, I know. No, I know he was Nelson Rockefeller when you met him. He was uh, he was Bill Gates and Warren Buffett combined. And then after no, you met him, met him, he, he was a complete a job loser. He had for like ten years. Mmm, I see. And then he lost. It. So he lost. He lost everything. I am a female. I I will not stay with a man that can't provide. Yeah, but you'll that have you'll, but you'll have sex with him. Way of things. But you'll have yeah, sex I with him. Sex with him. It was great sex too. So that's why you'll have sex with a guy who, who is. You will have. You'll be happy to have sex with somebody who is uh, completely a loser. You preach that too. Casual sex is not that big of a deal. If you're going to marry somebody or plan to have a relationship, then yeah, you need to be more. Well, why did you agree to have sex family. without a condom with a guy like that? I chose, we had been together for a while. I tried to stick it through, and I wanted a child with him. I think he was so, a beautiful man, and we had. So a you wanted man. a loser to have a child with you, and that means now the uh, genes are going to be intact. He's going to have his no. DNA, and now your son is going to be a loser. Also, that's fantastic. My son will not be a loser, Tom, because he has a mother like me, and mother. Yeah, like but he has the DNA of that. He has the DNA of the loser you had sex with. That doesn't get transmitted through DNA. Oh, it does. It does. It. Where does it I'm come from? Wiser than that. That's what? bad parenting on his mother's part. Oh, I, I see. That to my son. Mm. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck on that. Tom Likas.
1-800-5800-866. My take on your listener base is that they are very subpar in the intelligence IQ department. Oh, and you know, it's, 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 it's got to be a problem to have low self-esteem the way you do. You really should not see yourself that way. I mean, uh, I'm sure you're much more intelligent than you give yourself credit for. It's the Tom Like His Show. From Hollywood, it is the Tom Likas Show. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. Okay. I'm talking to the haters. You have to be a, a bona fide hater. You have to hate me, hate the show, hate the callers, hate the concept, hate the opinions expressed, hate the subject matter. If you're a hater, we will put you on the air with me, Tom Likas, the host of the Tom Likas Show. All you do is call me now at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866, like those commercials where they say, I'm the president of the company and I will take your call personally. All right, well, I'm the host of the Tom Likas Show and I will take your call personally. You hate me, you call me right now. Do you have the balls to face me man-to-man or woman-to-man? Do you? Now's the time to prove it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's go to O on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes, Tom. You're the real hater, so I'm a, more of a hater. I'm Tell a hater? Why. Who do I hate? Your, hate your, your, your whole game is hate. Who do so I hate? I, well, you hate... Uh, the uh, future and the change that America is going through. What? Wait, wait, wait. What about that do I hate? Well, I know exactly your uh, chess game that you're playing really? on the air with uh, this Hillary Barack Obama. You state that um, you, uh, you're you trying to go against Hillary, but technically you're really going against Obama by bringing up the uh, race issues you are a constant reminder when what did i ever say negative about barack obama listen you don't have to directly say it it's called oh i see you're a conspiracy theorist you do the chess game it's a chess game yes the chess game i see because you know as well as i do you can't hate he's 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 very uh precise and and uh Mm. uh you so know, when I say good things about him, I really mean to say bad things about him. All right. If you say you you don't say any good things, you just don't say anything at all. I don't talk about you, politics on this show. That's why I don't say anything about Barack Obama. Hmm. Well, another question. I mean, another. Uh, mm, mm. Well, yeah. when were all these political shows we were talking about politics? When was that? Well, I'll tell you dates what, and I, times. Pardon me. Dates and times. When did I talk about politics on this show? Listen, you have the you have the uh, the, the record of when I listen to your what show. week, what day of the week, when last last week, last week, last I, week. I, what did I say? Well, you brought up the issue uh, about um, the fact that uh, what is it the 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 guy that um, used to own BT spoke Robert that. Johnson. You don't even know Robert. his name. Who needs to know his name? He's no longer the, the owner of BT. I mean, who cares? He's still a billionaire. And? He owns an NBA team. And let's stick to the subject, Tom. You brought him okay. up, not me. The subject, though, the subject is, you asked me. What was wrong with bringing up Robert Johnson on the air? The fact that you played that over a mil- you, you, play, you played that over repeatedly. I played enough. what? His statement. I never, never, by the way, pal, you're mixing me up with another white guy. I never, ever, not even one time played the statement of Robert Johnson about Barack Obama. Not even once. Who cares? Tell you what. Well, why did you bring it up? I know your whole game. Who cares? Wait, who cares? Who cares when, name one day or time that I ever played that. Ever. I never did it. You're wrong. You know what your game is? No, here's you know what your game is? To call me and accuse me of things I never did. To call Wait. in and play the race card on somebody who's never said the things you're accusing him of I saying. Didn't, I didn't say anything Ever. about race. Oh, yeah, come on. We know what this is all about. No, 
how do we I? We know, know what this is all okay, about. Here we go. Now we're into now we're into the chess game. What oh is yes, we're into the chess game now. Here's how the chess game works: call in and accuse me of doing something I never did. Then when I say I never did it, say who cares? I know your game. No, Tom. You uh, mentioned something about race a while ago. What? What? I, I said nothing. This is about change in America. Who's what? What about? change are you talking about? Change, change of the the, the 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 government and the establishment. That's uh, you know. There's uh, not going to be any change in America. It's going to be the same the old thing. Plan. Pardon me. It's going to be the same old thing when it's all over. Hey, at least you said it. At least you said it. Because, said what? You, know, you said it. I said what? That I'm opposed to change? Oh, no, I'm in favor of change. Uh, but I'm telling you, there isn't going to be any. Really? That's right. And why is that? Wh because is that? because the people who are supposedly going to make the changes are the people who are least likely to vote. The people who are going to make the changes. Right. Young people, women, minorities, the people least likely to go vote are the people who uh, could make the changes, but they won't. And why is that? I don't know why you'll have to ask them. Hmm. I will be voting, but they won't. Well, tell you what. I know your whole game, though. What game is that? Subliminal. Um, oh, it's subliminal. <laughs> subliminal I see. Subliminal mind tricks. Of, subliminal of mind tricks. Of, of the sheep, because most of the people that... I don't have to do anything subliminal with you. I can tell you right to your face. Tell you what. Most of the people that call your show seem to have uh, a lack of... Uh, intelligence like a lack of uh, well i certainly yeah. based on this call i certainly agree with you they have a general um basic intelligence you know what i mean a it's general kind of like, basic intelligence no yeah, you don't yeah, yeah. The some callers don't even the, have that the, the intelligence of the some callers are just a bunch of dopey conspiracy theorists would you agree me no i don't agree you don't agree. because i'm not dopey i wasn't <laughs> how do you know i was talking about you i said some it's callers tough, tough. I'm, I'm very clear in mind, believe me. Is I that so? Yes, it's so. Really? Yes. Can't tell by this call. Tell you what, how would you know it's a call? Because you called in and you told me that I played uh, Bob Johnson's comments about Barack Obama over and over. Hundreds of times, you said. No, I didn't. I, no, I oh, didn't. You, oh, you never said that. You tell just you said what. it three minutes ago. Tell you what, Tom. <laughs> we know. Who's know. we? Who's we? We the yeah. people that oppose your view, but then what view they, is that? Your view, your your view based on uh, the nonsense that you speak about. Mm. I mean, hey, you make some. What view is that? The only thing that you you, you know how to do is pimp. Tell, and hey, hey, tell you what, man, mm. I give you I give you a thumbs up for that because you know how to pimp the Why? game. Regard, thank regard, you. Regarding the uh, thank you for that callers. Hey, I know it because I sense it. You know I see. I mean? Yes, which is, which is a talent, but uh, you're more of a pimp. Right? I'm a pimp. Yes, a pimp. Yes, right? I'm more of a prostitute than a pimp. No, you're more of a pimp. No, I think I'm more of a prostitute. Whatever the case, even the caller that just called you, we—I know the real reason why she was calling. She doesn't hate you. Oh, what's the real reason? She's part of the uh, conspiracy. No, she's a weirdo, and she kept talking. Oh, she's about a weirdo, her. and you? She kept, talking, she kept talking about sex. You know what I mean? Oh, the whole time, so mm. we know what we know what her uh, we know what her um, uh, agenda was. See, I see. it's easy to look in between the lines. Of Are you sitting at home listening to this? Show? I'm trying to picture you in Fort Lauderdale. Are you sitting at home listening to this show? Are you calling from yeah. your car? Where are you? Sitting at home. So you're sitting at home listening to this AM radio station at almost ten o'clock at night, calling it's, talk shows. It's entertaining. You know why? <laughs> Entertain them because the way you think is the way the majority of idiots think. Really? Yeah. Yes. I see. How would you know? Well, because I see it. What it, it's it's I enjoy it due to the fact that I get to know what mm. what what the what what the the the, the so called conservative minds. I see. Think. You are the voice of the real. Opinion. Oh, I'm a conservative, am I? Yes, you see. I'm yes. pro-abortion. I am, <laughs> I am pro First Amendment. Uh, I and you're telling me I'm a conservative. In what ways? Give me some examples of how I'm a conservative. I got to hear that now. A conservative, a conservative doesn't have to be against uh, the First Amendment. What? In what ways am I conservative? Let's hear it. We'll tell you what. Oh no, you know what? Conservative. Oh, uh, bottom. Okay, let me let me stop jumping around the bush. You're a racist. 
Oh, I'm a racist. In what way? You are a racist. Let's hear it. In what way? You're a racist. In I mean, what way? I mean, I've, I've heard you on the You phone. can't even name one way yeah. I'm a racist. Not even one. I could tell. I, I could tell you about the time when the the woman from the Middle East was calling and you talking about how um, you, you 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 bang up all the the the, the Middle Eastern chicks. Um, that makes oh, me oh, a racist oh, oh. because I have no, sex. No, tell you what, because we know we chicks know, from the Middle East. No, because we know this. We know this much about uh, a lot of. You have many women out there, so I know I have many women out there. I've had many women out there. Yes. Me too. Hey, tell you what, I know this much about women, though. What do you know? That it doesn't matter uh, race, black, white, Middle Eastern. Right. The, uh, a, a good amount of them all are, seem to have the same type of um, uh, their ways. The, the, the you are aware that I, I was on the radio in South Florida for two years. I did a local radio show, and uh, I lived there. And, you know, this is taking me right back. This is exactly, exactly taking me back. This you are just like the callers I used to have when I was on the air, doing taking a local show. Taking you back to what though? The what? Taking you back to what? Taking me back to the days when I was working down in South Miami doing a local South Florida radio show. I have one not like you after another calling in, and that's how I became successful. Who cares about this? Hello, I love your show. I listen all the time. Hello? I love your show, Tom. You're so well informed. You and Neil Rogers, yeah, you're yeah. so well informed. I love you. By ever since my son died, you're the only thing I listen to. Yeah, whatever. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Hawk. I'm talking to the haters here on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, uh, I got a problem with your uh, view viewpoint on women. Really? Which viewpoint yeah. is that? Well, I mean, you're talking about how they're all money grubbing whores, really, and no, they're not all my. Wait a minute! Like stop that. right there! You're misquoting me. I never said they're all money grubbing whores, because the fat and fugly chicks are not money grubbing whores. They they couldn't do it. Well, you think most women are like that, though? I think attractive women are like that. And you, and you think women are dumb, also, right? Oh, no, some of them are very intelligent, but the intelligent ones are mostly uh, somewhat unattractive. That, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, sure it does. My my mother is a very attractive woman, and she's a professor. At How a attractive is she? She's quite attractive. Really? Would I bang her? Uh, she likes good-looking men, so you don't fall into that category. Oh, I see. But uh, what does she look like? Tell us. Uh, give us a good description here. I don't know how to describe her, but she's a uh, 5'8". Good body and she's good looking. She got nice knockers. Uh, sure. Really? Yeah. Have you she doesn't go for men with money. She goes for men with looks. So I'm sorry. Mm, about I see. So what is your point? My point is the only reason you talk about women this way is to get the idiots to listen to you. The only reason I do anything is to get people to listen. No, but they're not people. Even they're even people you listen. even you are listening. No, I've listened to you like twice. I just got, I was bored right now, so I thought I'd call. Well, how would you know I was doing this topic if you weren't listening already? I've been listening for about 10, 15 minutes. How would you know to tune in right now? My, my friends, they always tell me about you, and they listen to you because it's funny. Oh, I see. It's entertaining. Yeah, it's entertaining because you're an idiot. Oh, I see. And you are intelligent, are you? Yeah, I'm at a university right now. Well, yeah, well, that that doesn't mean anything. You know, the twenty five hundred dollars to get any moron into a university, including you. Well, UCLA doesn't and, have a and lot and your mom probably your mom probably probably got you in. No, no, she doesn't work at UCLA. Oh, I see. So uh, tell us, uh, prove how intelligent you are. Let's hear it. What? How intelligent are you? Let's hear it. I'm very smart, Tom. I guess I'm smarter than you. Let's hear. Uh, let's hear an example. I'd like to hear it. Well, what do you want? You want my test scores for my SATs? What do you need? Your test scores for your SATs? I mean, how do you want me to prove to you that I'm intelligent? Well, uh, one way to prove it would be don't bother calling in during an hour like this because I'm going to have the better of you, as you know. The Tom Likas Show.